day, everyone. Welcome back to All About Data. My name is Basha Kaki, and sticking to the theme of chatting with industry experts around data, today's conversation is around data automation. And with me as my guest is Dean McDonald, Senior Manager of Systems Engineering APJ at ServiceNow. Welcome, Dean. Thank you, Basha. It's nice to be here. Hey, could you tell us a bit more about your role and, and your team? Certainly. Um, so my team is actually a, a new team in APJ. We're one part of the systems engineering team, which comes under global cloud operations for ServiceNow. We're primarily responsible for all of the underlying infrastructure that runs and supports the ServiceNow instances for our, for our customers. That's amazing. Well, welcome to the ServiceNow team and welcome to your new team as well. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm really excited about our conversation today, right? Uh, because um, within NetApp, uh, we talk about customer one. NetApp is NetApp's customer one. Um, we also call it NetApp on NetApp. So NetApp's IT team has gone through um, through its digital transformation journey. Um, and, and ServiceNow integration has been a big component of that journey. Um, it has allowed us to strategize, streamline and grow our, our business. And, and this is how we support our customers as well, right? In that, in that digital transformation journey, we, we support um, customers from data management point of view. And I know ServiceNow um, helps in that digital transformation in automation. And so given that it's such a big customer base and quite a variety of them in, uh, across different verticals, um, what, and it's a very broad question and probably it's a very simple question as well, but what, what are the benefits of automation um, that you think oh. are, you know, probably people are talking about or uh, going to service now for? Yeah, we make the work work. <laughs> That's probably the simplest, simplest uh, answer I can give you, Basha. Uh, look, we have, you know, automation workflows that go from um, IT service management, operations management, business management, assets, um, you know, DevOps, security operations, and right through to government risk and compliance. And automation for any organization that, you know, isn't well, um, you know, along that journey already, they really should be looking at, at catching up because, you know, the benefits for not just automation in general, but benefits for, you know, the correct automa automation and automation done in the right way are, are tremendous. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. And uh, from, from, from our experience at NetApp, right, uh, yes, automation, um, you know, helps, uh, helps increase service agility, you know, accelerates um, service delivery and, and also the insights that you can get from the data that you've already got so you can then benefit your business further, right? Um, and, but we also see that, you know, um, there's, there's, uh, there's a level of control that, that we within their app and also in our customer base want to get back, right? Um, with um, shadow IT management cost, um, uh, cost management as well, and especially mm. in today's world where, you know, you customers might be migrating from their on-premises data center to public cloud and in that using multiple public cloud, right? Um, and so they, they, they make that uh, a transformation and then, and you know, the, the build shock could be huge. So we see that in our yeah. customers' environment, um, while they've made that move to, to cloud environment, the hybrid cloud component comes into play where they might have their own private um, cloud so that they have a little bit of control in that DevOps environment in, in cost management. Do you, um, how was your experience um, in, in that regards? Well, with any cloud strategy, uh, the key is to you know, properly plan um, and, you know, there needs to be uh, a business case that will support that and everything is moving to cloud. There's no question about that now. It's, we're well and truly along that path, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that any organisation from any industry vertical shouldn't do, uh, put together a really accurate and detailed plan on what their specific cloud strategy would be, whether it ends up being, you know, hybrid cloud or public cloud or, uh, you know, even public cloud to the sense where all, all workflows become, or all workloads become cloud native, there, there really needs to be the proper planning and strategy around that to make that work optimally. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, great, thank you. And ServiceNow was built as a SaaS um, with inter interoperability in mind, right? Workflow or yeah. automation. And, um, and I guess, you know, within NetApp, when we go and talk to our customers, it's uh, especially in that hybrid multi-cloud uh, kind of um, kind of journey, um, they might already be using resources. And, and absolutely, it comes to planning, uh, but then you also uh, need to have that monitoring capability and visibility around how much resources are you using? What's causing that bill shock? You know, is there a um, yeah. way to optimize those resources? And, and so within NetApp, we, we talk about cloud insights, um, right? Cloud insight capability, which provides visibility around your storage resources. Um, and so that, you know, it's fed back into that cycle uh, and, mm. and it's available to your team to, to use as part of that automation. Um, but also, you know, in, in, in the recent um, uh, months, we've acquired another company called Spot.io and that gives mm. the same capability, but around compute resource management, right? So especially yeah. if you're in the, um, if you're using public hybrid multi-cloud, uh, I think that cloud insight and spot to look at your um, storage resources plus compute uh, and then um, streaming, streamlining that into, the, you know, the automation process back on ServiceNow platform. I think that's a, yeah. that's a that completes, you know, that gives a really complete picture of, of that journey, right? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, listening to you say that, Basha, it really ties back to the, you know, importance of data. I mean, a lot of organizations have, you know, tremendous amounts of data, but, you know, making sense of it and getting visibility into it is is really crucial. And it can be the difference between, uh, you know, running an organization effectively and optimally versus, you know, not effective and suboptimally. Within the NOW platform, we, we really do focus a lot. It's actually part of our DNA really is, you know, bringing that insight and that information to the customer so they can see what's happening in those workflows. We, we have, you know, the, the platform that we call it internally is called the NOW platform. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've, we have machine learning capabilities, there's, you know, intelligent chatbot, there's performance analytics, there's also cloud insights. And we have the ability to, um, let's say I just pick, you know, machine learning for, for example, uh, if there's a, a support ticket that comes in or, a, you know, some sort of technical issue with a, an employee, then we have the intelligence to be able to correlate that to other similar issues and then correlate that back to, you know, potentially if there's a, you know, a service outage or something like that. So you having access to the data is, mm -hmm. is critical and being able to use it in a meaningful way is also critical. To have that total visibility and control, right? Because you, you and your team is uh, responsible for the whole infrastructure. Uh, everybody else builds on top of it, right? The instances that they build on top of it, um, but you, you and your team is actually responsible. So, so absolutely important to know what's happening and and mitigate anything that's not working, which is fantastic, right? Um, I have a great team, Basha. I have a great <laughs> team. I'm not taking credit for that. <laughs> All right, I will have to say hello to them at some point. Uh, <laughs> um, hey, thank you for the conversation so far. You know, what is what is your key takeaway for organization um, considering automation? Start the discussion as soon as mm -hmm. possible. If you haven't already, yeah. then every, you know, project or every, you know, even the smallest task can start with just a conversation. So do that sooner rather than later. And and find the right people, find the right ideas and the right information that, that can help your organization, you know, achieve the right outcome. You know, without those conversations, starting with the conversations, it, you know, the project may not be successful or it may not happen at all. So it's just important to take the first step and start the conversation. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Thank you, Dean. I, yeah, I guess if you haven't, if you're not already on that journey, start the conversation. If you're already on that journey, I guess look at um, or, or reach out to your network right see what's working for them if if um if it's if something's not working for you for yourself or if you think something could be done better um there's plenty of people who've tried and tested right so yeah. so, so reaching out to that network is uh, is absolutely um essential thank you so much for a very insightful conversation dean any any last words you would like to impart to the audience today uh, it's my, my pleasure, Basha. It's been a great, uh, a great conversation. Look, yeah, I agree with what you're saying. You know, it's, uh, it's just important to, to start, start the conversations as soon as possible if you haven't already and, you know, work out um, what is the right plan for any particular organisation until you start that process, you know, it, it's just not going to happen. 
Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Jean. Thank you so much for your time. Sounds good. Thanks, Pasha.